Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jazby's CaseBreaks.com with... This is our last case, actually. 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball, our last eight-box jumbo break. Pick your team number 11. Done a lot of these. Thanks to everybody who got into the action in the new year right here on the 3rd. Jay with that last spot mojo. Orioles. And there's everyone else. Thanks for getting in. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We may get some more of this, but I think we're kind of at the tail end of our our run on this Bowman baseball, or Bowman draft, that is. We do have two box uh, mixers, a, a box of Super Jumbo and a box of Jumbo, and a chance to win a box of Dynasty. So if you want to get into that, we definitely have that available on the site now. Much shorter than these breaks, too. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight right there. Three Chrome Prospect autograph cards inside. As you know by now, paper base does not ship, Chrome will ship. Good luck, everyone. And we've got a we've got a full night ahead of us, boys and girls. Bowman draft right now. Vertex football after this. Then another briefcase of flawless after that. Then after that, that should bring us to about pretty close to the last hour of the broadcast. So that's plenty of time to squeeze in another break or two, or three, depending on the time. So go to jazbeescasebreaks.com right now and start getting into the action. We'll close the night strong. Here we go. Good luck. We'll breeze through this paper. Brian Mata to 150, blue paper. So we'll set these aside. We'll sleeve and top load all of those before they get shipped out. And Nick Schnell will be your first autograph. For the Rays, Josh Proust with the Tampa Bay Rays. Nice. Good start. That's autograph one. Hmm. Some orange. And it's Braden Fisher, 4 out of 25, orange chrome for the Dodgers. Paul Cool Whitlock with that one. We'll randomize these left, right as well, the recommended viewing cards. Unless they're serial number, then we'll randomize those separately, separately. Using Neil Diaz to 499, former Dodger prospect. And your second auto is Parker Meadows. 
Austin's brother, 40 out of 99. Tigers, a little bit of color there too. That goes to Daniel Patera. And Adam Hungry Like the Wolf out of 250, Purple Chrome for the Tigers. Jackson Coward, 402. And should be expecting one more auto out of here. Good luck, everybody. And there's the auto right there. And the autograph is Cole Huynh. And the winner of this is Michael K. and the Rangers. Nice. Your uh, 15th overall pick. It's a little off center in the top loader there. There you go. It's better. 15th overall pick. Nice. So there are your three autographs there. Let's see any more parallels here. Uh, one more parallel, and it's Grant Cook, 402, or Koch. All right, next box. We were talking about this previous break. What, what team, what baseball team, is going to end up making a, a Phillies or Braves-esque kind of turnaround? You can even argue, like, Brewers even as well. Now let me go to the, no, no, I didn't want to do that. Let's go to the standings from 2016, right? So in 2000, sorry, check that. We're going to go to standings 2017. So in 2017, Red Sox and Yankees got better. Tampa, Tampa Bay Rays won 10 more games than they did. Ah, Minnesota went backwards a little bit. So they were a wild card with 85 wins. They went backwards. Cleveland Indians won 202 games in 2017. They went backwards a little bit, even though they still won their division. Um, Houston did fine. Angels went backwards a little bit. Nationals went backwards a little bit. But look at this. The, the, the Atlanta Braves only won 72 games in 2017. Now look at them in 2018. Phillies only won 66 games and then turned it around this season as well. 
Brewers won 86 games last year. So let's flash forward to 2018. So in 2018, after 60 some odd ish wins, the Braves win 90 games. And Phillies, after 60 ish some odd wins, ends up winning 80 games. They win 80 and 82. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty big turnaround. Eighty ish games. Brewers turn it around and then win ninety six to win that division. There's Griffin Roberts to four ninety nine. So what team who won sixty six ish games is going to turn it around and suddenly light it up? Every year there's at least a team or two. I feel like that just comes out of nowhere, and you're like, wait, what the hell? How did that happen? Ooh, this is nice. Orange, Connor Scott, 15 out of 25. Michael Kuntz with the Miami Marlins. Now, Jared is thinking Padres? He's like, division isn't super strong after my Dodgers. If Francisco Mejia and Fernando Tatis Jr. light it up, they could be that turnaround team. I think they're a great candidate. Padres only won, I'm looking at 2018 now, Padres only won 66 games last year. And they've looked pretty competitive last year too. They got Eric Hosmer in that lineup too. Will Myers, a lot of young players, a lot of young talent that could explode out of nowhere. I don't think that's a bad team. I think... Who else? The Reds. Reds only won 67 games last year. What if, I mean, they've got the young talent to kind of... See, and and think about the... Uh, there's Axe Kirilov, green chrome to 99. Think about what the Reds have been doing. Why, why add Yasiel Puig? Why add Matt Kemp? You know, I know those are only like one-year guys, one-more-year guys, but... Maybe they're thinking, hey, what if we be, what if we get a hot star? What if we turn into one of those teams that somehow come out of nowhere? AL, NL Central is tough, but they're a 67-win team. What if they turn around like the Braves? They've got the young talent. Ooh, is that a plate right there? I don't know if that's an autograph, but that's... All right, so behind Matt Manning is a printing plate. No ink, but it's Greg Soto. Detroit Tigers with that one. Daniel Patera. Nice. Daniel, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Not too common to see those printing plates. And nice, Caden Grenier. And that goes to Jared. And the Orioles, 120 out of 250. Last spot mojo strikes again. Ryder Green to 21st, Purple paper, Cole Roeder at a 250 for the Cubbies. Rex with that parallel. And your third autograph is going to be for the Royals, Jackson Coar. Royals auto, Greg. 
Greg D with that one. All right, got a nice printing plate in there, a class of 2018 auto, some orange. That was a nice box. Next box. All right, so maybe Reds. They got some young talent. I like the Padres, Jared. I think that's a good that's a good shout for turnaround club of the year. Marlins, maybe not. They're, they've got 63 wins. Um, what about the Mets? What does everyone think about the Mets? They've been making some big moves, shaking things up. I don't know if some of you may remember last year. I did something kind of crazy. I actually had, uh, I actually put down a couple of futures. I, I, I took to the futures market, if you want to use stock market terms. And I made an investment on Mets futures, Red Sox futures, and Dodgers futures. I selected each of those teams to win the World Series. Now, obviously, the, <laughs> I got lucky. The Red Sox and the Dodgers got there, so it was, it was a proposition I could not lose. But... The Mets seem kind of crazy, right? But they've got the pitching. They've got some young talent there, and they've been adding a lot of pieces. They've been shaking a lot of things up in the offseason. Could the Mets make a sort of turnaround? Maybe. Maybe the Phillies still need some work. 90 wins is a high bar for the Braves. Maybe they take a small step back, you know, before taking multiple steps forward following years. So that could be interesting. I don't think... EA, speaking of Mets, EA could use some Mets. He's got, the, he's got the Mets in this break. No Brewers yet. Other than Luca, Rick Barker's asking, who's having a great rookie year in the NBA, in my opinion? I, I'll be honest with you. I haven't been paying as close attention as I should to the NBA. But I want to say that I've been hearing some noise about... Um, I'm trying to look through this. Who have I been hearing some noise about? Michael Porter Jr.? No. Shea Gilgis Alexander... SGA for the uh, Clippers has been making some noise around here. People around here have been enjoying his performance. I think DeAndre Ayton has certainly been doing pretty well. Right, on a not as good Suns team, but you know, Hall Aaron Holiday, I've liked what I've seen out of him. Sorry, my head was in baseball mode. Out of 499, John Duplantier. But Aaron Holiday for the Pacers has actually been quietly playing pretty well. There's Ryder Green autograph this time. Gold. 10 out of 50. You know, I have not seen Kevin Knox play too much. Jaron Jackson Jr., Nico is suggesting, has definitely started out the season well. The Grizz were almost unstoppable at home for like the first couple weeks of the season. The Ryder Green will go to the, uh, Eric Bailey and the Yankees. There's Sean Jelly out of 250. Purple Chrome for the Giants. That goes to John C.
do you think, Rick Barker? Cole Wynn, purple paper to 250. Looking at the NBA draft right here. Yeah, I feel like DeAndre Aiden. Isn't Mar Marvin Bagley's been playing pretty well, hasn't he, for the Kings? He's getting he's getting some solid minutes on a surprising Kings team. I need them to beat the Nuggets tonight. Braxton Ashcraft going to the Pirates. Buckos. Michael K with the Buckos. I think Trey Young has shown some flashes of brilliance. Have not seen too much Mo Bamba. I've watched a couple uh, a couple Bulls games. Wendell Carter Jr. looks all right. SGA. And there's Matt Veerling to 402 for the Phillies. You know, um, Kevin Huter for the Atlanta Hawks has actually been been getting some some regular minutes. He's looked pretty good at times as well. Yeah, Lonnie Walker the 4th has he been I think he's been has he been injured? Grayson Allen, I know, has been injured. I, I like Aaron Holiday. Mo Wagner for my Lakers, still a work in progress. Someone was saying the other week, Landry Shamit has the second most threes behind Luka Doncic. So he's been making some noise too. I think the good thing is that up and down that first round of the draft, there's Omaris Aidman to 499. You see a lot of great like rookies with a lot of potential. And I think that makes a lot of these, a lot of our basketball product on the site pretty valuable. A lot of different rookies. There's Jason Schroeder, refractor autograph to 497, 21 out of 497 for the Strohs. King D with his Astros. Caleb Fisher, you're a huge fan. Could I be included in the next giveaway? Absolutely, Caleb. Just join uh, when there's a promo going on. Just read the directions of the promo or the, the, the terms of the promo on jazbeescasebreaks.com and you'll, you'll learn how to uh, get into our next giveaway, which generally involves buying a spot in a certain break that fills at a certain point in time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So no giveaway at the moment. Just Tim Kate. We we'll always have something like that, Caleb. Check the website, buy into some breaks, and there you go, jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, there's our three autos right there. And another box. Ah, there you go, William L. What up, William? One, one simplistic message and idea about rookies is look at the draft class on basketballreference.com. Sort of by average sort by average minutes per game with the players getting about 25 minutes per game. It's pretty positive. Okay, now I'm curious. They haven't done the math for me. No, no minutes per game. Well, who's got the most minutes so far? All right, so the players that have over 900 minutes, say, around this time. DeAndre Ayton has the most minutes. 
So there you go. That's good. Number one overall should be getting a lot of minutes. Luka Doncic, second most minutes. Then Colin Sexton, he's been doing all right. And then Trey Young. Michael Bridges has a th over 1,000 minutes. SGA has 989 minutes. Then there's Wendell Carter, Jaron Jackson Jr., Kevin Huter, Kevin Knox, Landry Shamit, and kind of ticks down from there. So there you go. Those are those are kind of your top 10-ish minute getters for the NBA. Rookies. Oh, I see. I see the per game. There you go. Yeah, Luka, sorry. Well, now we'll go by a per game average. Luka Doncic has 32 minutes a game. Then DeAndre Ayton with 31 and a half around there. Colin Sexton, Trey Young, SGA, Kevin Knox, Michael Bridges, Jaron Jackson, Kevin Huter, Wendell Carter. That's about your top 10 right there. Marvin Bagley. DeAnthony Melton has actually been getting some minutes too. I remember that. Landry Shamit, Miles Bridges, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's no more. So yeah, you always want you always want some decent playing time for these guys because then they'll just get better throughout the throughout the year. And there's always like some random rookie. I feel like this happens pretty often. There's like a random rookie. Um, like in the second half of the season, kind of blows up out of nowhere. There's Josh Naylor to 250 purple paper. Yeah, no, Rex. Yeah, as Jay's saying, few parallels, no ink yet. There's Nick Madrigal. That's a nice one for the White Sox. That goes to Jeff Goldberg. That's a nice one. That is your fourth overall pick. Ryan Jeffers, 250, purple chrome for the Twins. Ryan Miller, papered, four ninety nine, and Ryan Carl Weathers for the Padres. Karen Paglia with the Friars. Old Ryan Carl Weathers. I don't think his last name is Carl Weathers, but I wish it was, or his middle name that is. One can hope. If his parents had a sense of humor, they would have done it. There's Cole Roeder, 402 for the Cubs. Kind of, redemption kind of stung up on me. And Nick Gordon, orange, 12 out of 25.
And your next autograph is for the Redbirds. 451 out of 499, Griffin Roberts. We've got Yuan Shen with the Cardinals. It's your third autograph there. Another parallel for the Cubs, 68 out of 99, Cole Roeder for Rex. All right, four boxes. We're halfway through this full case break. That's right, Rex. Twelve autographs left. Three in each of these final four boxes. Good luck. Rex is looking for one of those hot Nico Horner autos. Horner? Horner autos? I was going to buy a color parallel, but they're going for a lot now. I feel like we're getting a little warmer, Rex. I've been seeing some parallels of the Cubbies. But no ink yet. Could be around the corner. No sign of Mets yet either. Probably be a, a Kalanick in there somewhere. There's Cody Deason to 150. Astros. And more Orioles. Another Oriole. That's Caden Grenier for Jared. Last spot mojo for Jay. There you go. Alex Kirilov to 402 for the Twins.
And next auto behind Sam Carlson is... Wow, Travis Swaggerty? 20 out of 250. It's just a facsimile autograph, but a cool parallel for the Pirates. Autograph? No, autograph is not here. That goes to Michael K. Michael Necht. Chris Bubich to 4.99 paper. Here's your autograph. It's a twin, Ryan Jeffers. 78 out of 150. Blue chrome autograph for Eric Bailey and the twins. Ryan Carl Weathers. Bo Bichette to 402. Taryn Vavra, purple paper to 250. And what up, bro? Josh, bro, popped out of nowhere. That's for Eric Bailey and the Yankees. There you go, Bailey. Brian Miller to two fifty purple chrome. Next box. Good luck. I'm watching a little uh, Rockets at Golden State. Houston at Golden State. Warriors are up 42-31. Three boxes go, nine autographs. We're almost done here, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost done. About 20, 25 minutes to go. And then we'll be diving into some Vertex football a little bit after this. May need to take a quick five after this. And then we'll get into some Vertex, then some Flawless. And uh, that should bring us to about the last hour of the broadcast. I don't know if I see any other orders coming in. I do see a lot of orders here. So we'll see what, what's getting close, ladies and gentlemen. What can we close out the last hour of the broadcast with? Got more Flawless on the site, Flawless Baseball. We can do that. We can finish off Bowman's Best. That only has 13 teams left, jazbeescasebreaks.com. 
Should we do more Obsidian? Obsidian Football is available. Do the other half of Vertex. Second half of Donner's Optic Football. Rory wants best. You're the best around. No one's ever gonna... Blah, 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 blah. Remember that song? You're the best around. That's the those are the lyric those are the lyrics. Look it up. It's true. Grant Little on a four ninety nine. And we've got another Oriole, 195 out of 499. There you go. Jay's card. Last Bond Mojo. We're just sitting there. Nick Prado to 150, Blue Chrome. Some green paper, Grant Avril Levine, 12 out of 99. And Josiah Gray is your Reds autograph. It's a Dodger now. This goes to Jeffrey Laboda and the Reds. Corey Howell out of 402 for the Brew Crew. Be one more autograph, yeah. One more autograph. Cole Cottenham, Cottenham out of 499, the fabric of our lives. And it's purple, Noah Naylor. 68 out of 250. Goes to the tribe, Eric Bailey with the Indians. Rex is gonna you're gonna you're gonna ask for a Nico. I'll try not to forget about the ask and you shall receive thing. That only works like forty percent of the time though. That Geico commercial cracks me up. They're doing that uh, Geico best of voting. Hump day with the, with the camel. Mike, 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 Mike. Hump day! I 
All right, and we got another parallel. It's Dane Dunning. Dun, 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 dun. All right, there you go. Two boxes left. Six autographs to go. Jared Moreland getting nervous. He's like, he needs that, that Janista to hit. EA's already given up. He's saying boo. He, he's practicing. He's warming up for the boo. Oh, man. At least, uh, at least Jay's card collection is happy. May, may, he's happy. Eric Bailey's happy. Different Eric. <laughs> Sorry, EA. Eric Bailey's happy, though. I'm happy that he's happy. He's been getting a lot of hits out of here. Greg Dunway's got to be happy. We hit at least one Royal. I think we've hit at least one Royal. Didn't we? That's it. Everyone else unhappy. Has anyone done the the NBA TNT VR thing? That looks kind of awesome. Or no, is it not awesome? Jameson Hanna to 499. <laughs> Craig D looking for some royal blue refractors. I see you. Josh Stowers with the Mariners. John Hyanga is happy. He's on the board. There's Shed Long, blue for the Reds to 150. EA needs like an, an orange Met. Kesson Hiuda, green paper for Karen and the Brew Crew. And how about a Brady Singer blue? How about black? 74 out of 75. Black refractor Brady Singer, Greg Dunway, and KC. There you go, your 18th overall pick. There you go, Greg. Greg's also saying, no, it's good. Get some good cold barbecue sauce. Dip plain white doughy bread in it. Just had like five slices. There's Ryan Jeffers. Send us some. That actually kind of sounds, kind of sounds good, I think.
be one more autograph out of here. There's Adonis Medina to 402. You don't see those black refractors too often, Greg. And for good guy Brady Singer. All right, and back here is Cody Clemens for the Tigers. They printed that upside down. That goes to Daniel Patera and the Tigers. Well, I'm gonna have to try that, Greg. It might be, might be, might be game. All right, so we're down to our last three autographs. The three from the second to last box pulled. Last box right there. Three more autos to go. Cross your fingers. Unless there's like a bonus auto here. Cross your fingers. Get the lucky rabbit's foot. The four-leaf clover that you have pressed in between the pages of your favorite Bible. Throw up some prayers to, to your God. The case breaking gods, any god, gods, whatever you do. Good luck, everybody. The horseshoe, horseshoes are lucky, right? You gotta... Bribe your favorite breaker. I wish I could take bribes. That would just be stealing, though. I'd take the money and just be like, yep. <laughs> I'd be like, oh. Be like, the case didn't live up to its bargain. about who this Thomas guy is in those Verizon commercials? What's he doing? What's his deal? Just wandering around town. Does he, just running to random people? Everyone seems to know who he is. He just pops up out of nowhere to, to, to sell people on Verizon products. And he's just like, everyone's like, hey, Thomas, everyone knows who he is. That's very odd. Very odd. I'm just so conf so confused about that. Oh, it's all over. <laughs> all right. I could have sworn Ricky that this this was Vertex was going to sell out before this Bowman draft, but it did not. All right, Blaine and Low to 150. And we've got Noah Naylor, an Indian for Eric Bailey. Autograph one of three from this box, the last box, from our last case of uh, Bowman Draft. I, I didn't see any more in the back. I don't know if we're getting any more. Matthew Libertor, 250.
Alex Kirloft, four ninety nine. And Chrome Draft Pick Autograph, Ryan Carl Weathers, another Padre for Karen Paglia. <laughs> Ricky Holbert saying that Noah Naylor sounds like a uh, a name that you see in an adult industry videotape. Be like Nikki or something like that. I mean, if you're looking for Noah's, Ricky, it's 2019. It's all good. No one's judging. Logan Allen to 402. No one's judging. <laughs> last last stack boys and girls last autograph who could it be now it's gonna be for it's Corey Howell for the brew crew purple paper and it's gonna be Chris Bubich for Greg and the Royals. There you go. Nice break for Greg and KC. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The end of the break. We'll breeze through the rest of these. It's just all paper anyway. Maybe another parallel hiding in here somewhere? Maybe one. There's Tyler Frank out of 402 for the Rays. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Last break in the books. So a quick, quick randomizer and then a recap. Left, right on that. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize e that list eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Stays with the left side. Left side will get these. And here was your break, ladies and gentlemen. Nice Brady Singer, some Noah Naylors, some Blue, some Ryan Weathers, couple Ryan Weathers, a nice Nick Madrigal, some Gold, some Caden, a printing plate, some Orange, Colwyn, Parker Meadows, and Nick Schnell started things off. And there you have it, boys and girls. That was Pick Your Team 11. I think we're... Not going to have too many Bowman Draft. I guess we do have a two-box Bowman Draft mixer in the store. Check that out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And keep your eye for more. We may get some more of this in the near future. So check it out. And we'll see you next time, folks, jazbeescasebreaks.com.